Everybody, Heather here. So today we're going to be working on our alternate Copic coloring for watercoloring card kit Little Montana by Whimsy Stamps. And I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And if you'd like to see if this kit is still available, head over to the store and there's a link in the description box. And then in the search bar, just type in Little Montana. And if it's there, it will pop up. If not, check out this month's kit or a bunch of the others that are in the store. So let's color. All right, so let's start out by outlining her image. And for that, I'm going to use B quadruple zero. And I'm going to give her some grass down here at the bottom. So I'm going to start with my blue down here, right where her pants kind of, it looks like the seam kind of dips in right here. And I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to lay it down next to her pants seam and then just flick out in like a check mark motion. And that makes it darker right next to where I laid my pin down. But as I get out here, my pin is lifting up. And so it's lightening up and feathering out. Okay, I've got to be careful up here closer to her arm. And we're going to go right around her hand. And we're going to do that all the way around. And this is such a light color that if you get some on her shirt or on her pants, a little bit on her hair, it's not going to matter. But if you do it first, too, you can always take your colorless blender and erase it. Let's get up here closer to her head. on this side and do this side of her body. And when I color, um, when I'm not doing the videos, I move my paper all over the place and you want to keep it going in the direction that works best for um, how it works best for you. I mean, if you can color holding it one way or hold it coloring it one way, the other way, that's great. But I usually tend to turn my image all over the place and just so my hand has an easier time um, coloring. Okay, so down here, I'm going to say the grass is going to go up to the bottom of this little flower. So I'm going to put some blue in here. And then we're going to want to go part way around this little puppy. So let's go over here, let's say underneath of his ear like that. And then if it was a little stark out here, you got a little heavy handed, um, you can just take your colorless blender and go over, well here, I'll just take my colorless blender and I just lay it down on the girl's pant leg and then I brush out past where I colored. I think mine looks pretty good, but if you thought yours was a little too dark, you would just take your colorless blender and go all the way around. And since you haven't colored it yet, it works perfect because you can lay it down right on her and move it out past the ink you already laid down. And this works best if you have your ink marker is full and it's not all dried out. But that just gives her a nice blue glow around the outside. And then usually when I get done, I take my cloud template and I'll add some blue clouds up here with um, tumble glass distress ink or some other light blue that you may have available. Okay, so let's go down here and do the grass. And for grass, we're going to use um, YG63 and YG61. And I see right here I missed going right in here in between her legs with my blue, so I'm just going to quickly go in there and color that. Give it a little dab of blue in there. Okay, so YG63 is what we're going to start with. And I'm going to add where I want to have some shadows. So let's add some shadows underneath of her pants. And then, of course, underneath where her shoe is actually sitting. I'm going to go around a little bit. And then over here, her pants are still going to be casting a little bit of a shadow, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my green in there. And then go underneath that shoe, of course. And she's kind of leaning down on this side, so I'm going to go ahead and flick out my green just a little bit further over here. And then we want to do the puppy. So let's add a little bit 
of my dark green underneath the puppy. And get underneath his tail there a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my YG61 and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So like I said up here when I did this outlining I stopped. So I'm going to pick up right there and flick right over the top and extend our grass out as far as you would like that to go. And then I'm going to bring this middle part here up to where I stopped my blue up here. And then just go over all these edges and connect, connect my green with my blue. And it kind of goes across right here. So let's make sure we connect over on this side. Okay, mine's still looking a little bit blotchy, so I'm going to go ahead and go back again and brush over some of these dark lines. I was just doing a quick once through that time, so got a little bit more there. Give it another brush. You could also go in too. I didn't do it on this one because I'm trying to keep it with the watercolor kit that I made, but you could add some grass blades. That finished up the grass nicely, so next let's go do our skin. And for that I'm going to use E21 and E00. And I'm going to start down here at her foot because she's got just a little bit of her foot showing. So I've got my E21 and I'm going to fill this one in because there's hardly any there. And then on this side I'm going to go right underneath her pants and a little bit on the side. And then I'm going to go up here and let's do our arm too as long as we got our pin out. And go right down the back side of her arm, skip over that hair, give her her wrist a little bit of a shadow in there like that and then let's get this other arm we're going to go underneath of her sleeve and then go on this side of her sleeve and right here there's a little space of air in there that I forgot to color blue so I'm going to come back and do that and then I want to get on top of her fingers and then I'm going to do the bottom side of her fingers over here and let me grab my blue before I forget but right here in between her arm and her pants is some, some, some sky, so we're going to color that in. And actually right here in her basket, where the handle is, between the basket and the flowers, there's a little bit of space. So let's color that blue real quick for, so I don't forget. Okay, then I'm going to grab my E00, and I'm going to go down here, and we're going to fill in her foot. And then we're going to go up here, and you lay down on top of your E21 and brush on top of it and then pull out to your white and just work your way clear across her hand and you may have to go back and the dogs have come to see what I'm doing in here so they've won't push the door open and wandered in and we're going to do the same thing for the other side so take your E00 and you touch down on top of the 21 you just colored and you just feather that line into your white. It may take a couple of brushes. And I'm just going to fill her arm all the way the rest of the way in because I only picked two colors to do her this time. She's going to have more of a tan. She's outside in the sunshine this week. Okay, then we're going to grab E21 again and we're going to go up here and do her face. And so for that, I'm going to go right next to her hair. And I'm going to do the bottom of her little cheek right here. And then I'm going to grab E00 and brush on your 21. And just smooth that line out. And I chose not to give her any cheek color this time. You could add a little bit in there, but I felt that her little hair here was going to be covering most of that up, so I just decided to withdo and not have it. Alright, so next let's go do her hair. And for that we're going to use E29, E39, YR14, and Y13. 
and it's a totally different color than I would normally use, but because I watercolored it, I tried to get as close as I could to match the colors that I used on that. So we're going to start with E29, and we're going to add our darkest first. So I'm going to go right underneath her little ponytail holder and give it a little brush. And then her hair kind of dips down right here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Get a little closer. Her hair kind of dips in right here. So I'm going to go ahead and give that just a tiny dab at the tip of my pen. Like that. And then this one kind of looks like it's coming, um, going to go dip down in between back underneath. So I'm going to brush just a little bit of my dark right there. Just like that. And then up here, we're going to brush on the other side of our cute little ponytail holder. Just like that. And then we're going to do her bangs. Oh, we also want to do this little hair right here. I'm just going to give that a little dab. We're going to give the end of her bangs right here where it touches her face a little bit. And I didn't bother doing any of these flowers. I let that be light. But I'm going to go up here and do the crown of her head just a bit. This is pretty dark. We want to get each one of those little sections just a tiny dab of darkness. Like that. Then we're going to go with E39. And we want to brush on top of our 29. Brush a little bit of that. Brush on top of all of your 29. So let's go down here and get in here. Get a little bit in this one. And then this section right down here is kind of underneath too. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my dark in there. Let's get the back of this little curl right here. Whoops. Went out of the lines there a little bit. I'm going to go up here and add some to this section. Add a little bit to the little curly cue that's coming out. And let's just work our way around. colored all the way, I forgot to move my hand down, but I colored all the way across up here. And then I'm going to grab my YR14, and we're going to add a little bit of that. This is really orange. I'm going to brush that right down into here. Brush some onto these. Fill in this bottom section. And then let's start this one right here. A little bit of orange. that. And then let's go up here. I'm going to add some to her bangs. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in her bang section clear up to the flower. And then we're going to put a little bit on this little curly cue. We'll fill in this tiny dab of a curly cue. And then we're going to add some to the back here. And then the same up here. We're going to go up here. And work our way right across. And then we're going to take Y13 and fill that in. right down into that. Okay, that's really yellow. So I'm going to grab my YR14 and I must have, when I colored it the first time, I can hardly ever remember when I get back to it, but I must have used my YR14 to color all of this in and then came back and went over it with the yellow just to give it a little bit of um, yellow colors. Let's fill this all in because that's way more yellow than I had before. 
And if you get a little bit on these flowers, it won't really matter because they're going to be red. So the red should cover up whatever you put on there. Or you can take your colors blender and erase it. Work your way around all these little flowers. Like that. And then we'll take the Y13 and just brush over the whole thing. That gives it a nice, lightens it up just a little bit, but doesn't make it quite so yellow. That was really yellow. Okay, and then I think I'll actually, right up here I'm going to take my E39 and I'm just going to brush a little bit more down here. Lighten that line just a little bit more. Maybe brush a little bit up here, soften that line out. And then take my wire 14 and brush over that again. This is wire 14. And we're just going to go right over with our wire 14 and lighten that a little bit. And then again, take my Y13 and brush over it. That looks pretty good. It's not as light as it was in the first time I did it, but that's all right. We're just going to live with that. So next, let's go down here and do her pants. And for that, we're going to use BG 96, 93, and 90. And we're going to start with BG 96. And I'm going to start over here on this side of her fanny. And brush a little bit of that color right on there like so. And I don't use my 96 very much, so it's pretty wet. Here's my V2. And then let's go ahead and continue down. Let's go up here right next to the belt. That. Let's get this little crease in her fanny here. And then let's go right down this line. Like that. And I already know I'll have to do it a second time, so I'm just putting a little bit down this time. And let's go right down like this. Okay, that's pretty good for a first coat. Okay, so next let's grab BG93. We're going to brush right on top of that. And because this side's way more in the shadows, I'm going to go ahead and fill in this side of her fanny. Soften this line just a little bit. And let's go ahead and pull this up here to the pocket. And we're going to brush this side away from that seam out here. And I'm going to skip that little crease. We're going to go on this side, too. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a BG90, and we're going to fill the rest of the section in. So brush right over the top of that BG93, and pull out here towards the edge. Same for this side. Let's just pull that out here towards the edge. 
And I'm actually going to brush right over these pockets and give them a quick brush. And that cute little seam she's got right there. Alright, so I already knew I was going to have to do it twice because that looks terrible. And so I'm going to take my BG96 and we're going to start again. So I'm going to go right down the seam of her fanny first. My 96. I'm going to flick it out here just a little bit further. Work my way down. Try to be careful. It's pretty dark, so I'm trying not to get it on the other side of the line. Okay, and then I'm going to grab 93. I think I'll just go a little bit on this side of the pocket too, just a tad. And I just work my way down that line, pulling it out here. A little bit past where I went last time. I still got a little line there, so I'm going to go ahead and go right back up, feather it a little bit more, and then I'm going to grab my 90, and we're going to go right along that edge. Okay, now let's pull from this side out a little bit. And then I'm actually going to go from the outside of her jeans and push back towards her jeans a little bit more. You could also do the tip to tip method and um, pick some of your 93 up on your 90 and then brush it on there. Soften that line. I just wanted her jeans to have this crusty look so I didn't bother with that. Okay, so let's do the other side. So for that we're going to grab BG96 again. And let's brush a little bit up here. And we're going to go right down the seam. And I'm going to grab 93. I think I'll actually brush a little bit on this pocket up here as long as we're working on things. Give each of these a little dab of our 93. Get those started. And then I'm going to finish off with BG90. Let's go up here and just work these pockets real quick. And then come down here and brush that line. And then brush all the way across a little bit. And then take your brush and go from the seam in. And that pushes some of that ink back towards the dark. This pocket one more time here. Okay, I'm liking how that looks. Okay, now I'm going to take my BG96 and she's got some little belt loops up here. I'm just going to fill those in. Right, like so. And then I could center the rest of that stuff for belt. Next, let's go up here and do her shirt, and for that, we're going to use YR18, 16, and 12. And I'm going to start with my YR18. And let's start by adding a little dab to this little ponytail wrapper. And then I'm going to go down this sleeve right next to her hair, and up this little um, ruffle for her shirt. And she's got a couple of dips in the ruffle, so I'm going to color those. And maybe a little bit on this top part right here. Okay, and then for this sleeve, same thing. I'm going to go right along the ruffle. And she's got some ribbon spaces in there. I didn't color that. And then this one doesn't have the ruffles actually drawn in, but I'm just going to put them where the little creases go up. And here's a little ruffle that goes in. And let's just go ahead and bring this seam right up to her shoulder. Like that. Maybe a little bit underneath this one right here. Let's add a little bit to that. 
And then for her collar, for sure, let's go along her collar, and she's got some seams already there for us. So I just colored those. And then down here, where the ruffle is, I went to the ones that were dipped in. So like this one's all the way in, I'm just going to go ahead and color that section in. This one dips back in, color that one in, and this one here dips in. That one dark, and then this one, I'm going to add just a little dab right there. And then I'm going to grab YR16, and I'm going to fill in that little ponytail wrapper. And we'll go down here and brush on top of our YR18, and pull a little bit of that color out. Let's go on the other side of that little wrinkle. And let's add a little bit like there. I'm trying to leave a little bit of space for my lightest color, so it can give it a little bit of um, highlight. And that sleeve, her, her face kind of dips down, and I forgot a little piece of her hair right there. But then her face kind of dips down, so I think I'll just leave a little dab out there. And then we want to get a little bit on each of these little ruffles. And let's go down here and add a tiny dab down here on the ruffled area. And then we want to make sure to get a little bit on each of these so that that will soften that line up and then I'm going to go down the side and I think I'll go on top of these little ruffles right here and then I'm going to grab YR12 to fill it in brush over that little um, wrinkle there Give each of these little top ones a highlight. And to the back of her shirt. And I think I'll brush right over these yet again, just a little bit. Soften those up just a little bit more. A couple of these little ruffles look like you can see underneath, like this one. I'm going to put my YR16 or 18 in there. And here's another little spot that looks like it's the back. And this one's got a little dot right there. So next, let's go do some leaves. And for that, we're going to use G85 and G82. So I'm going to take my G85, and I'm going to color along the bottom of each of these leaves and get the little stem. Same for this one. And then she's got a few down here in her basket. Here's a little leaf right here. And here's a leaf. And then I'm going to fill them in with G82. And then go back up here and get these two. Next, let's do the flowers, and for that we're going to use R89, 29, and 24. I'm going to start with R89, and I'm going to give each one of these up here in the center just a little flick. And I try not to get any in the center so I can color those yellow. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Same thing down here. Only these, I didn't care about the centers. I actually used my R89 in the center of each of these flowers to color them in. And then I grabbed R29, and I'm going to go around and leave just a little bit for my 24 around the outside. Same thing up here. I want to add a little bit more 
color, but we want to leave a little space for our lightest one. Or if you want it to be completely dark, you just fill them all the way in. Sometimes I even leave the white at the ends of the flowers. Fill them in with R24. I'm going to brush down on these so I don't accidentally get outside there in the in the background because you're never going to get that red off if you color outside the lines. It's not very forgiving. And see how I mean? I colored a few of these flowers with my hair color, and it just they're so dark that it just didn't matter. I just colored it right up. And we'll grab these down here. And the collar on the dog, he's also wearing a collar. So I think I'll take my um, R24 and go ahead and just color that collar in while I have it out in his little tag. And it looked like it was supposed to be a barrel maybe, but I just went ahead and filled it all the way in. Then for the center of the flowers up here, I used Y35 to fill those in. Just give him a quick dab. So that leaves us with the puppy, the basket, the shoes, and this ribbon on her shirt. And I'm going to use E44, 43, and 42. And for a shirt, I'm going to use E44 just to give each of these little ribbons a little dab of color. I'm just going to fill them in like that. Oh, and her belt. Along with my E44 and color in that little belt. And then let's move down here for her shoes. So for her shoe, we're going to add a little dab on this side and this side. Same for this one. Side and this side. And then for the basket, we're going to do right next to her pants and where her hand touches. She's got a little bit showing through her finger right there, so I'm going to give that a little dab. And then we're going to get on this side of her hand and then I'm going to go right down the edge of these pants to the bottom there. And then I'm going to grab E43 and we're going to brush a little bit on that on top of our 44 on our shoes. And we're going to fill in this side of the handle. And we're going to leave a little white for our light color there. And then we want to go underneath these flowers and then go right down that line. And I'm going to leave a little dab there for 42. So we're going to fill this in with 42. That. Like that for the basket. And then for the dog, we'll go ahead and get our 44 again. And let's do the underside of this ear, this little underside of his ear. It looks like it's kind of flipping back up over this way. And I want to do the under bottom side of his face and the back of his tail, the underside. And then we'll get this little foot and just kind of work our way 
around over here and just do the bottom of him. And then I'm going to grab 43. And you want to make sure to touch down on your 44. We're we'll add a little bit of that over here. Go up here by his nose. A little bit to his tail. And work our way up here. And I'm going to leave his back for the light. And then I'm going to take 42 to fill that in. His fanny. Brush that again. Soften my line just a little bit more. And then I forgot to bring a black one in here. But he's got a little nose on there. I'm just going to give that a dab of um, E29 just to darken it up just a little bit. So that is our finished um, Whimsy Stamps Little Montana. And thanks for coloring with me today. I hope you had fun. If you have a question, leave me a comment below. But we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.